I also, you know, just in general, I get really excited about different healthcare applications. Um, I get excited about like wildlife conservation efforts and the stuff that they're doing with drone technology is just so cool right now. Um, yeah, there's so many cool applications. The The tricky part is like, there's, there's a real lack of resources and financial support for some of what I might deem like the more impactful things that we could do for the world, right? There is a total lack of funding for, for things that aren't going to like return all that investment, yeah. right? So uh, something to consider. And I hear this a lot as well in the AI ethics side of things is we're building this technology that has an inverse effect on, on people with the fewest resources, right? Mm -hmm. Meaning that those of us with access and power to this technology can essentially, we will wield the benefits first and the people that this technology affects the most through environmental impact, through some of the bias and ethical issues, will will see the value of it at the very last. Like they will be the last to get this technology. Mm -hmm. And that really like makes me sick. Um, so figuring out ways that we can empower, you know, different populations of people with this technology is super exciting. There's I saw a couple of really cool papers, although not enough, on the global south and the different things that AI researchers are doing there to basically empower teachers and students with some of this technology through the use of um, text because they don't have access to to Wi-Fi connections. So mm. stuff like that's really, really exciting to me.